on their own are rebelling against the authoritarian paternalism. I can't tell you how many people from Africa I talk to who hate the paternalism of aid, who would even give up aid if we would stop being so paternalistic and stereotypical about Africa. Uh, these, some of these citizens in Africa have led their own democratic revolutions. The, the NYU professor that, I, that is two floors down from me, from Benin, who spent some time in jail campaigning for democracy in Benin. And Benin is now a democracy, and he is, has gone back to, he's, he's uh, born and raised in Benin, he's Beninese, and he's gone back to make that democracy work better, periodically went away, taking leads from his position at NYU. And the result of this increasing seizure of political and economic freedom by the poor on their own is that we've already achieved the greatest mass escape from poverty in human history in this generation. That's the good news. Despite all the cluelessness of the experts and the cluelessness of the aid people and the cluelessness of the planners, the poor did it on their own anyway. So we have this great historic trend that I'm showing you, you know, the very big picture since 1776 to 2009. The, the blue line is the percent of the world's countries that are democratic. Uh, the red line is the percent of the world's population that lives in extreme poverty. But look at this way that poverty has just fallen off the cliff in the, in the recent decades. And democracy has surged. And also economic freedom has surged as people have turned away from the authoritarian planning state-directed models. And so, of course, this graph alone does not prove the case, but the lots of evidence put together suggests that these two events are closely related, that the spread of freedom has facilitated the escape from poverty. So I will close with, uh, again, some inspirational words of Lincoln. Before I get to that, I'll, I'll leave you with my main message, that we have to, at last, in development, if we want to see further progress against world poverty, we have to end the double standards. Recognize the freedom of the poor everywhere in the world, just as much as the rich. Let's devote ourselves to that ideal, the same ideal that has helped us so much in our own history, that ideal that all men are created equal. And so in the words of Lincoln, it is for us to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us that we here highly resolve that our world shall have a new birth of freedom and that development of the people, by the people, and for the people shall not perish from the earth.